Saint Sophia. Mosaics. The church was richly decorated with mosaics throughout the centuries. They either depicted the Virgin Mother, Jesus, saints, or emperors and empresses. Other parts were decorated in a purely decorative style with geometric patterns. During the sack of Constantinople, the Latin Crusaders vandalized valuable items in every important Byzantine structure of the city, including the golden mosaics of the Saint Sophia. Many of these items were shipped to Venice, whose doge, Enrico Dandolo, had organized the invasion and sack of Constantinople. Following the building's conversion into a mosque, many of its mosaics were covered with plaster due to Islam's ban on representational imagery. This process was not completed at once, and reports exist from the 17th century, in which travelers note that they could still see Christian images in the former church. In 1847-49, the building was restored by two Swiss-Italian brothers, Gaspar and Giuseppe Frassati, and Sultan Abdul Majid, allowed them to also document any mosaics they might discover during this process. This work did not include repairing the mosaics, and after recording the details about an image, the Fossatus painted it over a grain. This work included covering the previously uncovered faces of two seraphim mosaics, located in the center of the building. The building currently features a total of four of these images, and two of them are restorations and paint, created by the Fossatus in order to replace two images of which they could find no surviving remains. In other cases, the Fossatus recreated damaged decorative mosaic patterns in paint, sometimes redesigning them in the process. The Fossati records are the primary sources about a number of mosaic images now believed to have been completely or partially destroyed in an earthquake. These include a great mosaic of Christ Pantocrator in the dome, a mosaic over a now unidentified door of the poor, a large image of a jewel-encrusted cross, and a large number of images of angels, saints, patriarchs, and church fathers. Most of the missing images were located in the building's two tympanum. The Fossatus also added a pulpit, minbar, and the four large medallions on the walls of the nave, bearing the names of Muhammad and Islam's the first calypse.